Uh, all right, Bryn says in MWO, I was able to determine two factions, even mech classes. Most I don't understand how radar works. Or everyone else says such powerful weapons, and I don't. All right, so let me go ahead and show you a few things. All right. So every mech in the game, uh, Brent, has at base level, which means every mech has this capability at base stat-wise. Every mech has sensors, and you have radar. And that sensors are zero, which means on your location, out to 800 meters. So for instance, if you'll notice on this mini map down here, if you also press B, it'll bring up bigger. You can see the difference in size here. Um, that means if there is something within your sensor range, it will lock onto it. So in this case, I'm gonna turn here and you'll notice there is a mech right here and it shows up on my radar, my, radar, my sensors, if you will. There's two different things, sensors and like target information. Now, this target is, it'll autom well, it automatically uh, did it for me. If you hit R or if you just mouse over and then eventually the stuff in the top right corner pops up and that's the target information. That's your paper doll information. So what you're probably wondering is there's sometimes mechs that you can't lock onto, all right? And that's sort of what we were just talking about. There is a hardware called ECM, electronic countermeasures, um, and which doesn't allow you to lock on until either one, they're within, you know, uh, a certain range, or two, if their ECM gets knocked out or countered. And that can be done with... Uh, uh, weapons like PPCs, it can be done because the, the... But, cool thing is, you've got uh, your... You've got this here, which is... You've got your... If you hold down E and mouse over, you can click Enemy Spotted. And even if you lose lock, notice it's still... He's still highlighted on your map right there. Now, that'll hold there for X amount of seconds, and it will track him. So if he was to take off running and you had spotted him, even though you lose lock, it'll keep track of him, right? That's only for a very small period of time, okay? Um, all right, so that explains sort of radar and how that works. Um, if you notice, I'm 233 meters away from this target. Now, if that mech had ECM and he had the correct skills applied on this skill tree, I would not be able to lock onto this mech till about 200 meters. So I wouldn't be able to get a lock. And then as soon as I cross over 200 meters, I'd be able to finally get a lock. Um, now, that can change though based on your skills and that's where i have to go into the mech lab and i have to do show you a little some math here if you don't mind i can explain um it's actually like i said it's actually pretty simple but if you don't know it, it can be a little bit confusing right so um, let's go ahead and i'll show you in this case one of my favorite mechs ever so this is cicada 3m the cicada 3m is able to take guardian ecm right and there's a bunch of mechs that can have this. Not all, but there are quite a few mechs out there. Now, if you notice, if you mouse over, it says GECM protects friendly units within 120 meters from electronic targeting systems, which is really nice. What that means is not only are you protected, the teammates within 120 meters around you are protected as well, right? So that's actually really nice. GECM can also counter the effects of enemy GECM within the same 120 meter radius. So what that means is you can actually counter, you have to physically uh, hit the button to do it because there's two modes ECM's in. It's in counter and it's in disrupt, right? Disrupt is the normal operation. It's in counter will basically cancel someone else's and then you're both visible, right? To, to locks, right? All right, so one thing you wanna look at is target range reduction. Now it says 30%. You'll notice it has plus 45 next to it well 
let me explain something. If you were to just equip Guardian ECM just by itself, right? What that basically is saying is someone is not able to lock on to you until you move within a certain amount of range. So in this case, 30% reduction of what? Well, target range. Well, what is target range? Zero to 800 sensors. Remember, I was, I was talking to you about that. To be able to lock onto a target. So if you were to do the math and you do 800 times point, uh, in this case, uh, verify 30, three, it's 240 meters minus 800. So it's 560 meters. So the base of that means is if you equip this, someone cannot lock onto you at 800 meters, but as, as soon as you cross to 560 or closer, they're able to lock onto you. Well, that's not, that's that's pretty still pretty far away that they can lock onto you. That really doesn't help you at all. Well, that's where that plus 45 helps. And what that plus 45 is, is based on your skill tree here and sensors. And how you get that plus 45 is these two nodes right here. And anytime someone brings ECM to the, the field, I always recommend these are the first skills you need to pick up. Don't worry about anything else. These are the first things. If you're taking an ECM mech, you need to have these. If you don't have them, there's no point in bringing ECM. Um, now, what does 22, 22.5%? Well, it adds that 30 plus 45. So now it's 75% reduction. So let's do the math on that. Again, 800 times 0.75 is 600 minus 800. And so now you have 200 meters. That means someone cannot lock onto you unless they're 200 meters or closer to you, which is quite nice. That basically means you can be a ninja, right? Maneuver around. Now, that being said, that is with base, base sensor range. And if you notice though, there are a few mechs that have plus one, like in their quirks, they have plus 100 to their sensor range, but there's also nodes here. So technically a mech could have more than 800 meter sensor range. There are a few mechs that can, well, if you, you do the math here, let's see, sensor range, sensor range. What, what can we get out to here? Actually, don't know. Um, sensor range, what is that? see here i'm trying to find it sensor range plus 28 percent right so technically someone could could have more than 800 meter base sensor range and that would change then the stats of when they could lock on to you right um i'm missing one oh sensor range there you go 35 percent. so in that case someone could increase their base sensor range of 800 meters to a thousand 80 and then if you re reduce that by 75 they can lock onto you at 270 meters you see what i'm saying so this is one of those things that it's it's i think it's easy to understand once you understand it but if you don't know because we don't have an in-game like sensor range like there's nothing in the mech lab that shows you that you have 800 meter or more or whatever. You just sort of have to know. Um, but knowing this, you again, you always want, you always want these nodes right here. Always. You can also increase sensor range with equipment like Beagle Active Probe. Beagle Active Probe range boost, 25%. So 25% on top of 35%, it all stacks, right? So now you've got you've got something that, what uh 20, 60% increase. You're you're going, I mean, plus the cyclops, yes. So you have mechs that can lock out and technically uh can do some pretty cool things as far as that. So, anyways, that's how base sensor range works. All mechs have a base of zero to eight hundred meters, and for the most part. That makes 
having ECM, you want those nodes. If you don't have those nodes on the skill tree, it's the first thing you should invest in with any ECM capable mech. If not, they're able to lock you at 560 or plus meters away, which pretty much is normal engagement range anyways, so you're not invisible, right? So you're gonna be locked on. Um, does that make sense? And hopefully this was a good like PSA announcement for you guys. I need to highlight this and put it up on YouTube so people understand how sensor range works. Um, and why it's so beneficial. So, um, yeah. So you can stack here quite a bit if you had all the the 35% here, plus the the you know BAP, plus maybe you got like a Cyclops. I think some of the Cyclopses have that. Uh, let's see. Some some of these have sensor range 150, right? So now you're taking, uh, uh, you know, eight, now you're at 950. Lessons with Phil, still mech porn. Yeah. For the most part, though, that's how it works. As far as 800 meter sensor range, most people have that. Some mechs, of course, can do a bit more. Some mechs will have a bit more because of skills. But uh, there's that.